if I can get it out of this box. What I've learned over the year plus of doing unboxings, if you can't get a product out from one side, try the other side. <laughs> Hi everyone, Wygo Warrior, aka Julie here, and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, welcome. Wygo stands for when you get old. I am 54 years old, love and enjoy makeup, skincare, doing product reviews, beauty hauls, and unboxing videos. If you have stopped by because you're curious about the Allure March 2021 box, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. All right, as you all know, this is my favorite beauty subscription box. Not. Um, I paid for a year subscription um, last October when they upped the price from $15 a box to $23 a box. When you paid annually, it made each box $13.75. So as disappointing as the boxes have become once the price increase, I really can't complain because I'm paying less than $14 a box. So, let's dig in and see what we got, um, and then while I'm opening this box, let me know how your day's going, and let me know if any of you watching actually still subscribe to Allure. I know many of my viewers and subscribers have abandoned ship because, let's face it, it's not as good as it used to be. All right, so we get a little booklet, which will have information on the products. Typically, the pricing is for the full-size item. We are guaranteed to get three full-size items, and oftentimes, it's hard to tell until I edit and look at the uh, look up the information because the stuff's really small. All right, I digress. What is the first item? Ooh, okay. So this is from Ahava, and it is the Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. And I can hear you from here. Uh, who cares, Wago Warrior? I've got that in my family fun for years. I've never received this. I've seen people talk about it. Um, I think I've seen it on like pop up or add on sales, maybe on Ipsy. Definitely Fat Fit Fun. Um, I've missed out. So I am super excited to give this a try. My hands are super dry. And um, I'm going to guess this is a sample size. It is only 40 milliliters. All right. Yay. So first item, even if it's sample size, I'm excited to give it a try. Hello, monkey, a.k.a. Ozzy, a.k.a. Poncho, a.k.a. Kitten that my husband wants to rename every day. He's coming for a visit. All right. We'll just ignore and pretend he's not there. What is the next item? It is very light. It is from... Pixie by Petra, and it is Lip Glow, Tinted Lip Balm, and what shade is this in? This is in Lip Glow uh, Ruby. So, I normally don't like a red. However, maybe if it's a lip gloss, it won't be as dark as, say, like a red lipstick. I'm going to be adventurous and swatch this. Because I think it's going to be more like a lip balm, just based off of what it looks like on the side. If I can get it out of this box. What I've learned over the year plus of doing unboxings, if you can't get a product out from one side, try the other side. Oh. Okay, oh, see, just the mere fact of doing it, it popped right out. Okay. So it looks, oh, weird. It makes a noise. Sounds like you're uh, winding up a little uh, pop-up box or a little uh, toy that, like, walks across the table. It either doesn't have a scent or it's, like, so subtle. It may have a super subtle berry, uh... Don't call me on that. All right, let's give it a swatch here. Yes, okay, so my suspicion was correct. It is very lip balmy, and it is not as dark on the skin as it is perceived to be in the tube. 
I'm going to predict that this is the, a full-size item. So um, I'm not mad at this. I love a good lip balm, and if it has a tinted shade, even better. Okay, two for two. Don't know how I feel about that. I'm so used to being wah, wah when it comes to uh, a lure box. So can we be three for three? Let's see. Ooh, box is very fancy. Does that say 111 skin? Okay. Without even seeing what this product is, we're already three for three because 111 skin, no matter what this is, is a very shishi expensive uh, brand. And then I just saw the name Vitamin C. Okay, what is this? This is the Vitamin C Brightening Booster um, something. I presume, um, what do you call that? A serum? Let's take it out and look at how fancy the packaging is, and then I'll read the little booklet. <gasps> Ooh, it's very fancy. It's real glass. It's black. It has some heft. It has a little dropper. Ooh, okay. Um, since this is vitamin C, I probably shouldn't have done that. I just put oxygen in there. I got really excited. Okay, let's see what the little card has to say. Uh, shut up. Well, I... I shouldn't be that shocked. It is 111 skin. This is the full size, and it retails for $155. All right, well, that just made my day, because you know I love skincare. You know I love shishi, bougie skincare. And, you know, if it's something that I would never buy because I, frankly, can't afford it, I love getting it in a beauty box. So, what does it say? It says, vitamin C is the star of my skin routine. Now, I hate reading with the... Just give me to the good stuff. It says the crystal clear formula has no discernible smell and absorbs quickly and easily. Um, it says, I've been using it straight out of the dropper, but you can also mix a few drops into your moisturizer. Oh, that's good to know. All right, yay. Okay. Um, three for three, which is very odd. On to the next item. Ooh, this looks good it's big is this gonna be a brow it seems double-ended what is this double act we got dusk and dawn oh it's a shadow stick I thought for sure Ooh, it's a big fat pencil look at that let's give this old swatch all right so we have dusk and dawn those are quite lovely they were very creamy um, for a lazy girl like me these come in handy, and if you're in a hurry, don't feel like messing around, just quick, use your finger. These these darker shades would bode well with some of, most of the um, shadow sticks I have tend to be more shimmery and light kind of pearly, rose gold pinky shades, so it's nice to get some deeper browns. I am about to say something that's going to blow your mind. We are four for four on an allure box. What? Okay, I'm afraid. What's the next item? Don't want to ruin anything. It's very small. What is this? What is this? I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a sharpener. Did it come with this? Because this Okay, by the way, what company? Oh, this is from Ico. And this is from Ico. Oh, that's so nice. And hopefully this is just in tandem. Oh, cool. It has a little stopper so that you don't make a mess. Okay, that was very thoughtful. Question, is that a separate item? Or is that, you know, go with the eye pencil? We shall find out, depending on how many items we have here. All right, next item. What is this? It's from Mud Masky. I am 50-50 on this brand. Just on me whether I like the product or not. Okay, so this is... Can't find the name, but I did see some of the little, you know, what it helps. And I'm digging it. I saw dark circles, puffy eyes, fine wrinkles, dry skin, and swelling. Not so much. But the first four, hello. Are you a really large eye product? Okay, 
Okay, it comes safety sealed. What is this? Why can't I ever find the name of the product? This is serum infused eye mask. Please let it be a leave on. Never heard of like an eye mask where you just goop it on and wipe it off. Booklet. Oh, booklet. Tell me what this is. Oh, you're supposed to rinse it off. But I'm still going to try it. It says that this under eye mask is a thin, runny gel. And the editor rinsed it off after the recommended eight minutes. And noticed that her eyes were less puffy and that her dark circles didn't seem as prominent. Okay, I think I will be doing a mini review try-on of this in the future because I have some full-on puffiness lines, dark circles. We can put this bad boy to the test. You know what? We're five for five. Mine is blown. Okay, is there anything else? Okay, there's one item in here. What is it? This is from B. Glenn, and it is a clay wash. Wah, wah. That's just a personal thing. I'm not into leave-on products, unless it can be done in the shower, because it can be on my face, and it's like five to eight minutes while I'm conditioning and doing, you know, shaving my legs, then I'm okay. If you have to leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes, no, lazy girl not approved. All right, so what is this? A mild facial cleanser. Okay, I can I can do with a cleanser. I'm going to say 5.5 .5 out of 6. Um, I will use this. Not my favorite. Let's, let's recap. I'm a little speechless because I'm so used to um, Allure being a little stinkeroony. Um, it threw me for a loop. So we have a clay mask face wash. We have an under eye mask from Mud Masky. We have from uh, Pixie by Petra a tinted lip balm. We have from Ahava a mineral hand cream. We have a vitamin C serum from 111 Skin. And a lovely um, dual ended eyeshadow pencil with a sharpener from Ico. That is really good. All right, leave your thoughts down below. Do you find this box as good as I found it? And by good, like it's legit good. It also is good for Allure, but then there's, it's good. I'm gonna list on the screen the grand total of all of the items and the box value. Um, Speechless, okay. So I do want to um, ask all of you watching thus far, uh, first off, to thank you. And if you haven't done so by now, I would love for you to click that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. It really helps promoting my channel. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe and click the bell icon so that you're notified of future videos. I will list up above in the eye. I am doing a 500 subscriber giveaway and the only way to get to it is by clicking on that link. Follow the instructions there. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I will see you next time.